Hey y'all, Gina Brown here, one of GCISD's digital learning coaches. So I came across this great resource called universe.parlayideas.com. I'm in the roundtables browse section, um, but you could always pop into the main page and see what's there as well. So when I set up my profile, I went through and pretty much selected all topics, but you could cater it more towards your content and your grade level if you wanted. So for instance, let's say I wanna do science and innovation. This is more of a gather resources site. You can do um, up to 12 roundtables in the free trial, and I have not even explored the roundtable yet, but I love this for the resources and the questions to use for discussions um, in Seesaw, in Canvas, in whatever LMS you were using. So this crickets for lunch intrigued me, and what each page or each topic does is it gives you um, some instructions and then some resources with some guiding questions, and then even some poll questions to go along with it. So if I click on this resource number one, it will have a video for me about should we eat bugs? And what's great is these are not just random sourced videos. You can see this is a TED Ed video, and it is a lesson worth sharing for sure. And then I also have this great infographic about cricket flour. So how they make flour using strictly crickets, which is an excellent source of protein. So like I mentioned, y'all, I have yet to explore um, what this site can do and adding classes and having round tables, um, but I can see from the site that it is a way to connect um, and to have those kinds of discussions outside of just the classroom. Haven't checked on security, and things like that, but I am just thinking for now, it is a great resource to use to gather videos, to gather infographics, discussion questions, poll questions, because you can notice that I am able to go into many different topics and I can pull many different discussion questions and resources. So for instance, this one uses a crash course history video, which I always love to use when I did crash course science. And then you can also see that there are other videos and discussion questions to go along with it. So every topic has a different kind of format because Parlay, different people are creating these lessons and are sharing it with each other. Hope that was helpful, and if you use this, tag me at Gina in Tech on Twitter and shoot me an email and let me know how you liked it and what you used it for. Talk to y'all later.